everybody, welcome back to Falcon Place RimWorld. Let me get the game started here. Alrighty. So last episode, we ended up with a lot of good things happening. We uh, finally finished our hydroponics dedicated area. Will this expand? Probably a bit. We'll see, depending on how our food situation goes. We pretty much killed everything over here, though. There's no more food over here. So it kind of leaves us with the idea as to what we want to do over here. Well, I wanted to actually set up a few more batteries, so to say, to kind of uh, make this kind of like a quasi-battery room, at least down through here. And then over here, we'll probably extend the eating area a bit more to some degree. So uh, I guess, um, but we still also need to finish up the stone tiles, which as you can see, we're almost there, man. So this has been quite the fucking ordeal, quite the mission, but we're almost there now, which is actually I'm really excited about. So um, there is that. Other than that, what else do we need to do? Well, I finished up uh, putting the carpeting down in the rooms that are pretty much been hollowed out, or at least mined out, I should say. And, uh, <laughs> hollowed out. It's like I'm playing Dark Souls again. But either way, yeah, so we have these rooms almost set up there, and raiders are landing nearby. Remember, last episode I said, we are do a raider assault, and here it is, uh, like a million of them. Who is this guy? Nag? I kind of want, oh, Nag the Assassin. Look at this pimp coat, man. Blue coat, I mean, a, a black coat and, like, a purple pimp suit underneath it. That looks pretty fucking awesome. Um, so that's gonna be kind of scary, though. Nag is an assassin, and he has an H and K G11, which sounds like a really terrifying weapon if you ask me. Again, if we go by the Falcon th uh, way of things, if the weapon has initials and numbers, it is terrifying. There's no other way about it. So luckily, everybody is sleeping right now, so at least it's going to give us, or at least mostly everybody's sleeping. So um, it's going to give us a little bit of time to, yeah, wake up, get your food, and then we'll militarize everybody, and then we're going to be pretty much back to the... Uh, I guess warring over here with these uh, goddamn raiders. I might want to add another turd now because as you can see last time we lost Jeff. It didn't matter how well prepared we were because we were really well prepared this time around. But we still lost Jeff because of this, what happened here. So I need these guys to wake up, get their food. Him too. Um, I like what you're doing over here but you're going to have to stop because unfortunately uh, raiders are outside. I can't have you wandering off too much over here so let's cancel that out. I appreciate your endeavors but um, you have to turn it around now. So, what we need to do is uh, make sure everybody's got their food. Good, right? Everybody's got their food, all right? To a degree, mark, yeah, okay. So now, guys, we're going to have to stop everything that you're doing. Because we have to definitely get ourselves militarized. Because this is going to be a really scary raid. So let me have you guys go over through here. And let's start setting it up as usual here. And uh, Guinea is missing a weapon because he did get knocked out last time. Right? And Guinea's a good shot, so he needs a good weapon indeed. So let me hook you up with this fucking Morita carbine. <laughs> Again, that's always been terrifying to me. So, Guinea, let me have you hook up down through here, man. I'm going to have my 10s chill down here, probably. Um, because it seems that that's kind of like a really scary spot. If I could get them from the sides, then it would probably be a little bit easier. Get them from the sides, that's what she said, huh? Yeah. All right, either way, I'm um, Shook. Shook the Miner, what do I have for you? Shooting six, you can kind of hang out with the rest of the crew over here. And Lucky Jake, the Illuminator. Illuminati. Uh, hang out right there. Jackie Boy is a really good shot. So you go down here for sure. Not a people person. I believe it's a good shot. Seven. Almost at an eight. Uh, let's see. Have you hook up right about there. Jay the ace. Jay is good, I believe. Shooting seven. Eh. Let me have you hook up right there. Funky the illuminator. Shooting six. Uh, right about there will work. Harry is an alright shot if I remember seven. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let me have you hook up right there. Uh, Ricky the janitor. Shooting seven. Yeah, let me have you hook up right about there as well. Herb, Herb the Miner, shooting four, uh, ba -ba. let me have you go there for now. Moldat, Shipwright, shooting six, uh, ba -ba. down through there. Daniel, down through there. Paul the Miner, Paul the Miner, shooting two, not that great, so you go down over here, Capote. Um, and let's see, Mangina, what are you doing in front of cover, man? Mangina the Oaf is a seven, so let me hook you up right about there. Edward is a really good shot, so don't, don't arrest anybody, man, just go and hang out next to them. Don't be such a jerk. And Krabs the Commissar, good shot indeed. Let me have you hook up right next to him. Raiders are finished uh, their assault. They're going to be coming at us really soon. Punisher, uh, Punisher's not a really good shot from my So you go down through here. ADD's a good shot. You go and hang out right there, I guess. And let's see, Mark the Drone. Mark the Drone shooting A, that's pretty good. Let me have you go right there. Uh, him 277 good shot as well. Rose Evangelist, not that great of a shot from a member. By the way, where is um my guys that don't shoot? Little Cholo, stop trying to get in here. You can't shoot, Little Cholo. Alrighty, and then who is the other guy? Where's my dude with the Mohawk? Mohawk man? 
Wait a minute. Is it Steven? It's Steven, right? Steven, where have you gone off to? Uh, oh, there you are. Don't be trying to hide in here. You go inside. And Idle Bolt's the last person that we need, so... Idle Bolt, uh, that's already been pretty much called for up here. So Idle Bolt, you're gonna go and hang out. I guess, uh... How's your shooting, Idle Bolt? Five? You know, you're actually better than Daniel. So I'm gonna actually keep Daniel and have him hang out back over here. And you take his spot. And Daniel, you're gonna just hang out and you'll probably be our, uh... Our rescuer if something goes really terribly wrong, so... Everybody set up? Good? Alrighty, man. No debts this time, guys. No debts, alright? We need a good raid. Him 277 is not aiming at anybody, unfortunately. Uh, why is that? Uh, let's see. How do I... Nope. Him 277. Don't drop your weapon. I'm trying to figure out... How is it again that you do the, the, the cone vision? I fucking forgot already. Don't unmilitarize him, but it's F, right? I can't figure it out. I don't remember how to do it. But he's... Oh, there he goes. He's Now he's setting up for a fight. Good, good, good. What is that, a Molotov? Oh, no, that was just a, a boom rat in the way. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. No deaths this time. Come on, come on. Somebody get uh, this motherfucker over here. Blair, yeah. Fuck you, Blair. Don't be coming at me that way. Uh oh Guinea. Guinea. You know what? This situation down here is what's really scary. Oh no, there goes Guinea. That's what I was, I was scared of, man. You know, these, uh, this area down here is actually quite fucking dangerous. I really should think about moving that now. Um, but, 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 Daniel. Actually, it's not gonna work. I need... Fuck, who do I need over here? I need you to rescue Guinea. Okay. Okay, alright. <gasps> Oh no! Jay's been knocked out as well. Alright, Daniel. You need to do the slickest dodging of all time and uh, go and rescue Jay. Alrighty. Now be careful. Be careful. Raiders are fleeing. And I think we only lost two people, but they didn't die. At least they just got knocked out, which is good. Somebody get this motherfucker over here. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Um, two people got knocked out, but no deaths at least. Um, it's making me think, though, that we definitely need to really... Oh! <gasps> what? Guinea? Guinea dead? Wait, no, that's not right. Rescue Guinea. Okay, don't scare me that way, Paul. God damn it, he just dropped his body. I thought he was dead. <laughs> that was terrifying. Trade is my industrial trader. Okay. Wow, that was fucking scary, man. And then you guys get unmilitarized now. Oh man, for a second there I thought that he took like some sort of stray bullet to the head. That was terrifying, dude. Don't do that to me. God damn it, Paul. I don't want to lose Guinea as well. We're losing all these people recently. I don't want to lose more. Okay. So let's have uh let's have all these bodies to be accounted for. Alright, let's just highlight this guy then. Alrighty. And get that going and then. All these weapons over here. So many weapons, man. So many weapons, so little time. This is gonna be a lot difficult to actually get all these things highlighted because we have like the stone tiles that need to be built too, so god damn it, it's like a pain in the ass to be quite honest with you. Let's do this and no, see now it's just highlighting the stone tiles. I don't want that highlighted. Right. This gravel, I guess I have to do this manually now, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I can't even get all of them to be quite honest with you. You gotta get the ones that are outside of the stone tile built surface. Or if I do this like manually one by one, I guess, which is kind of annoying to be going on with you, but no other way about it. It seems M24 and T9 incinerally, and then what do we have over here? R4 charge rifle. Oh god, this is taking forever. Alright guys, you guys need to build the stone tiles as soon as possible because this is becoming a pain in the ass to actually capture. Um, at least they are running in free by themselves. Oh, Soldier needs breaks, that's right. Daniel, you could uh, run off now. Thank you for rescuing Jay. And we have another person, right, um, that should be militarized still? Where is the other person that should be militarized? Not sure. Where is the other person? Uh, we, Guinea, right? Guinea is the one who got knocked out. 
Okay, well, whoever rescued Guinea unmilitarized themselves, now they're doing their thing, which is fine. That's cool. Alrighty, so, um, scary raid, but at least we were able to avoid, uh, debt, which is, uh, good. We got knocked out, but, uh, man, I really think I should put up another, uh, another turret. Uh, I don't like doing that, because now it feels that if I do that, we'll be a little bit too overpowered, but at the same time, we are running a risk of losing people. But if we don't have the risk of losing people, it's not really fun, though, is it? I don't know, man. I'm weighing my differences here. I'm still kind of iffy about it. I mean, I could set up another turret over here, I guess. Nah, fuck it. I'll just do it. Uh, I don't want to lose any more of my, pe any more of my people, I should say. So, I guess we'll set one up like, uh... Mmm. Let's set another one over here, perhaps, right? And just kind of make it like, uh... Sandbag it like so. Cancel this out. And we'll put the energy turret right here. And then we'll run the conduit for it. Like so. Alrighty, and that'll be connected. All good to go there. Um, other than that, we also have a... Oh yeah, we have an industrial trade ship, I believe, in the comms range. Which is something I wanted to show off to you guys. For a reason that I will become really apparent soon enough. Uh, where is it? Where is Rose? Rose? That's not Rose. Oh god damn it, not this again. Rose, come on. What? Stop it, game. Alright, you know what? Fuck you. I don't have to deal with Rosen, alright? Whatever. You, Rose, if you don't want to be my comms to guy, I'll find somebody else. I'll fucking go with, uh, Batman. Batman's a good talker. He's sleeping right now. But Batman, you wake your ass up and you go deal with this communication center. Here's what I want to show to you guys. I think it's going to happen anyway. Industrial trade, let's go to people. What? Wait a minute. Never mind. Never mind. I have to look into that mod again. I'm not going to spoil it right now, but I'm a little bit angry. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Uh, let me buy some of the stone tile as well, because we need it. And let me buy some of this metal as well, because metal's always good. I'm a little bit disappointed right now, I'm not going to lie to you. That was not supposed to work out that way, now I feel like a fool. So, like, Falcon, what do you want to show us? Um, never mind, I guess. I'm an imbecile. Um, but they do, this industrial deal deals with weapons, so we could actually sell some of our shit off, so that's always good. So, let's do that. You know, let's just sell whatever, man. We have so many weapons, we don't even use all of them. Let's just sell it all off. Uzi, cold, cold, cold. Yeah, sell that. M24s, don't need them. Don't need those M24s no more. Alrighty, and 77 left. E sell this Glock. There you go. Cool. We got a lot of good web, uh, a lot of good money for that, and that's about it. That's all I really want to do with it. And Batman, can you reset the communications really quickly? Uh, one more time, please. Excellent. Good. Um, him too? Why did you shoot at that boomerang and then run away? <laughs> him too. Can you finish the job, please? Melee attack. Melee attack. Alright, there you go. Good job. <laughs> He's just gonna let him burn, too. That's awesome. Let him burn. It's cool. At least he'll get rid of that body for us. Ah, Rose. Oh, yeah, now Rose shows up. Okay. So, let's get back into business here. Uh, we have people healing, recovering from that uh, last raid. Stone tiles are getting built over here, and we're so close to this finishing off, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be really awesome when it does. This is a dumping stockpile for bodies, so they'll remove the bodies over there. Okay. And, uh, I think we're, we're doing good. Food, um, food is really good, too. This is our food section over here. There's a little bit more cleaning to be done, but as you can see, our food section looks really nice. I'd like this to be clean ASAP just because it's our food, man. It should be, like, you know, completely cleaned here. We don't want any sort of, like, you know, what if, like, a health inspector comes in and sees the rut that we got living in here? They'll be like, you know, what's going on over here, Falcon? Can you not treat your people well? How come you have, like, all these roaches and, like, dirt on the food and stuff like that? I'd be like, you know what, man? I've tried. I've told them to clean it. These guys, unfortunately, just don't listen to me. They have a mind of their own. I've been trying to get them to clean this area down here forever, and they don't want to. They don't care. <laughs> They'd rather live in filth. Uh-oh. Why are you so militarized? Unmilitarize yourself. Yeah, they'd rather live in filth, man. I've told them before, clean your areas, clean your rooms. They don't listen to me. I have the cleaners available for it. I have this area home zone, don't I? Yeah, I do, see? I have it completely home zone. They just don't want to do it. So, I mean, don't look at me, guys, for your uh, shortcomings over here. So, uh, the other thing, though... Is, um, yeah, what do we want to do with this area? Now I can kind of think about this for a second. And, well, 
let's see, what is there to do with this area indeed? We could do, I guess, uh, concrete inside of here, or can we do, well, we can't do smooth stone, can we? Um, only for the, only for portions of it, not all of it. So I guess we could do concrete over here, or maybe make it rugged as well? It would have to be green rug, which is kind of nasty, though. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the green rugs. I don't know why I picked green as the hallway. I guess we didn't use green enough. That's why I was kind of like, yeah, might as well use green. But now that I look at it, I'm not a big fan of it, quite honestly. Um, Do we have the metal to make this all green? Probably we do. Ugh. Green, though. Ugh. Man, fuck that. The hallways will be green. We'll make this, uh, make this concrete, I guess. What do we have here? Mysterious blight? All right. Apparently the Blights just fucking hate my crops. Alrighty, um, we'll make this, I guess, uh... Stone would be pretty sexy. I'm, I'm really liking the uh, cut of stone, to be quite honest with you. What do we have now? Traveler named Shaper is passing by, and she is a conceptual artist. Alrighty, well, conceptual artist or not, you're about to get caught if I get the chance over here. So, Batman, drop that body and go and capture us a little bit of Shaper action. Preferably before it runs off. Where? Don't you run off immediately, okay? You give me a chance to catch you. Come on, Batman. Pump those legs. Yay. Alright, good job, Batman. So, we're gonna have Shaper. I'll check out the stats on this person soon enough. And by the way, we have to actually close up this door over here. Oh, and that turret got built, so that's cool. We're gonna have uh, a few extra turrets. Let me actually, if we can, turn off all the turrets for now, since we don't need them on. Save a little bit of power. Alrighty, Shaper got uh, captured. Artists, uh, shooting six, uh, incapable of intellectual care and social artistic are hauling. Ah, uh, kind of a hindrance of anything, but we'll see. 65 years old, Jesus Christ, man, you are an old person. Um, let's go and get him recruited, I suppose, though. Another hand around the base won't hurt, so Batman, let me unrecruit you. Okay, I'll get to go here. And how are we doing over here, guys? Cleaning, are we cleaning, are we hauling, we're cleaning and hauling. Alright, we're doing a little bit of everything. Let's see, what else do we have to do here? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess we could clean off those, uh, burn those bodies off since we already held them off. So Nathan, since you're nearby, sir, you're going to be pretty much, uh, whether volunteering or not, I'm going to have you burn these bodies up here, essentially. That's going to be your task. Let me have you come over through here. Alrighty. And one call on the side. Who is that swaggiest individual? Swag, you better finish with those stone tiles, man. And, alright, so let's throw a little firebomb action in here, or Molotov, <laughs> no! Get out of there, Nathan! Don't walk through the bodies, it's gonna mess with your mentality, I suppose. Alrighty, toss that in there, good. One more, give me one in the center, man! One in the center! There you go. Alrighty, Nathan, you can run off now, and, uh... Oh, the Bren is back, go ahead and get that Bren, I guess. Alrighty, and oh, sweet, look, I think we've completed it, have we? Oh my lord, have we? Dude, we completed it, yes! Look at this shit, concrete all up in that shit, man. I kind of want to make this concrete now, could be honestly with you, but... At the same time, it's kind of a pain in the ass to collect all that concrete and everything. So, you know what, I'm not going to do that because of that. But if I wanted to, I could. For now, I'm going to actually go and uh, have this be... I guess... Concrete's going to work for this area, I suppose. We do have the metal for it, so, yeah, let's just make this concrete. Alright. There you go. I said concrete, man. What the fuck? Concrete. There you go. Alrighty. So, we have our dedicated hydroponics area. Soldier needs break. Who is that? Nathan? Oh, my bad. Nathan, run off. Nathan, run off. So, we have our dedicated hydroponic area. Uh, there's a weapon over here still. I think that was uh, whoever got knocked out. That's their weapon right there, that carbine. Um, that's already been cleaned out. This area over here is not stone because I had let this uh, available so we could kind of grow something on it if we wanted to choose that alternative, I guess. Um, are we going to really grow something, Falcon? I doubt it. So, you know what? Let's just make this stone tile then. Let's not kid ourselves. If I'm going to do, I'm not going to use something, I might as well just get rid of it because I'm not going to use it. It's going to be like a hindrance for us. So there we go, concrete inside, fucking perfect, alright. Uh, I guess I can, might as well concrete this area up here as well. 
Alrighty, our base is looking quite fucking sexy, if you ask me. At least in terms of, like, you know, getting stuff set up properly. I think this is smooth stone, right? Yeah, smooth stone on this area, which is fine. Um, alrighty. So, now we should probably start thinking about... Uh, I'd like us to actually clean, but it's not happening, but I'd like to get that cleaning going on. At least in terms of the dirt that's around. What do we have here? Raiders in line nearby? Of course, another huge fucking raid. Right in front of us, too. Well, we do have all the extra turrets set up this time, so we'll probably be able to take care of it a little bit easier this time around. So hopefully that's the case. What do we have here? And we recruited Shaper as well. So we'll be able to rename Shaper to the next person in line. Shaper is uh, at least a decent shot, so that's not that bad. So Shaper, let me... Rec well, I don't have to recruit you, but let me go and have you hook up with... Uh, not that. Let me give you the Carbine, which is apparently a cursed weapon, since everybody who uses it ends up getting knocked out. <laughs> but whatever. Um, by the way, I just realized I could probably make their trip easier for uh, collecting if I tunneled this out. So I guess I'll do that. I'll just tunnel this area out over here and... Hmm. I might make a dumping area for food over here, because it makes sense since we have the uh, nutrient paste dispenser over here. I'd have, like, food nearby. And then we'll extend the... I guess I want to make this area to look nicer, like kind of like a mess hall down over here. And then we'll have like a little battery section. Uh, I'm going to move some of these batteries down in the corner over here to kind of compact everything up. But either way, how about we call it an episode here today, guys? Because we have that raid to come down. So after the raid, I'm going to basically make this area into like a mess hall. And then I'm going to close off an area for batteries and whatnot. So we're going to basically start moving stuff around here. But at least we have um, a nicer setup than we had. It's less, uh, I guess, shit everywhere type of thing. But either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, I encourage you to leave a like. And if you didn't, go ahead and dislike it. It's perfectly fine. It's your prerogative. Either way, though, I'll catch you next time.